Hey guys, a very good morning to everyone. Uh, this is Satish Kumar, Handling Technical Support Engineer, EGS. So in today's presentation, we are going to see how various SOLIDWORKS solutions will be really suitable for the material handling industry to make their uh, process into a streamline and uh, how easily they can able to create a technical documentation along with their product, right? So in today's presentation agenda is how PDM system, SOLIDWORKS PDM system will be really helpful for to uh, improve your organization process and uh, what is the key benefits of using implementing implementing this PDM system inside your organization and how can you able to easily create a technical documentations like assembly manuals, training manuals, service manuals for your product and what is a summary. So how PDM system will help your organization is your uh, industry is having uh, dealing with uh, multiple file sets with uh, like uh, SOLIDWORKS, AutoCAD, like CREO, maybe some other CAD file formats from the suppliers. You are dealing with a lot of different CAD files and also the design data is one of the intellectual property for all the organization. So how safe is our intellectual property? This is what the question arise in all the organization. So for that, this is what the answer for uh, those kind of uh, questions all right so this is a system which is uh, make your entire organization into a streamlined process and also you can able to control every process of your organization through this PDM system okay so whenever you need a file whenever you need uh, some uh, design component or any other related document you can able to find all those kind of informations instantly using any one of the informations and also once if you have done this you can able to easily collaborate this data with your other departments for example from the design department to next level uh, management it needs to be sent once if you done complete the design means you can able to streamline this process in your workflow and it will take you to the next level through this PDM system right so let me quickly uh, take you through the user interface of this PDM so every user is having a separate access uh, to login if they are having the access then only they can able to log in inside the system right so for example here I am logging as an admin so and also you can able to provide a credentials for each users so then only they can able to access their PDM system. So in the display you can able to see here uh, this is what the admin user interface of PDM system. So you can able to provide a permissions for each user for example uh, the design pupils can able to only view the design files you can able to provide a lot of permissions lot of restrictions for each department and uh, for uh, separate pupils so you can able to provide for example he can only able to uh, make the file update he can able to only uh, make the modifications he doesn't uh, want to delete the file or destroy the file you can't able to provide the permission for uh, delete the files right so like this you can also able to create a workflow this is nothing but uh, the companies the organizations process you can able to put it it's like a flowchart so your entire uh, process is going by the way of this workflow what you are creating so and also in each workflow who are all the responsible persons uh, in the approval level and also who are all the responsible persons for to make the designs possible you can also able to provide uh, those permissions for each uh, department also so once if you uh, handle done this admin area you can also able to create uh, all those kind of informations uh, you can uh, you can able to control all your file sets inside your vault yeah so in the display you can able to see here uh, this is what the product data management uh, user interface so one of the advantage of uh, PDM system is you can also able to view multiple file sets without having any software so for example if I am having any word document or if I am having any PDF document in the preview window you can able to see here you can uh, view different kind of file sets for example any images 
any cat files non cat files you can able to view all those kind of sources without having any software so for example i'm if i'm having any uh, excel documentation maybe it will be helpful for sales department marketing and other departments if they are dealing with any non cat files that also we can able to access through this pdm system so this will be really helpful for uh, the person who is uh, just uh, uh, viewing the files without uh, making any modifications they can simply view the files and uh, uh, study the drawing or uh, any other file which is okay or not they can ensure and uh, provide uh, approval without uh, wasting uh, their time on any other resources right so and also every file is having a data called that is nothing but a information about that separate file it contains a lot of informations if you want any additional informations in this you can also able to provide those kind of informations it will be really helpful when you are searching or when you are reuse a component into some other new projects or some other new assembly you can able to access all these informations and also you, uh, are you working in the latest version or not all those kind of informations also you can able to find out through here so once if you done all these things as like i said you can able to secure uh, your entire process by providing the permissions for each users and also the each department so this is actually generating a automatic uh, logs and history files whenever you need uh, who are all logging inside this pdm system and when they log in you can able to create a log and uh, get your document so once if you done a design uh, so after 3 years or 4 years you just want to uh, find out the same component or you just want to reuse the same component for some other assembly normally what we will do in our process is will uh, search in somewhere else we are having a lot of different folders in our local system right so we will search it everywhere if it is not uh, we, we are not getting the right file then we will create it again the same part from the scrap so the designers can spend a lot of time on uh, searching the files which they are already created so instead of creating it new right so if you are also doing uh, like this uh, process you can uh, able to provide a easiest way to reuse your existing cat files so you can able to uh, identify the separate cat file using lot of uh, criteria right so if you know the name of the component or if you know the description of the component or if you know the version of the component when it is created who is this who is created using any one of these informations you can able to easily retrieve the data and use it into your projects so let me take you through the advanced search tool inside uh, solidworks pdm so you can able to see here this is what the uh, powerful search tool that is available inside the pdm system so here you can able to uh, search any of your component uh, using the name or description or any other information so if you are uh, find out uh, using any details when it is log in or when it is log out and using any one of the data card informations also so using any one of the informations you can able to find your exact file without any replace right so for example i need the file of uh, dev what is check in or check out i need the file means if you search by using the dev's profile he access only the technical publication so inside the technical publication i can able to find all those uh, kind of files which is check in or check out by dev in uh, in the past so you can retrieve uh, all these kind of files without any delay instantly you can able to find all the informations related to that file so in the display you can able to see here uh, it is under which state or when it is modified last time and who is checked out this file now presently you can able to find out all these kind of informations in your handy so once if you done this uh, you can also able to uh, provide a workflow to make your entire organization process into streamline as like i told uh, this is a simple workflow and uh, easy to create so without any coding you can able to 
create uh, your entire organization process in to uh, inside this pdm system in a easiest way uh, you can uh, make your entire process into a configurable so it is nothing but whenever you need a modification in this process well you can able to do the modifications and if you want to add any department or if you want to add any process in between the existing process you can able to do modification in this process whenever you need so for example uh, in the default workflow what i need is i need uh, one of the another state which is in between uh, the approval process means i can also able to create a new state and i can provide uh, the permissions for uh, different departments or any different uh, other uh, department will include in this process means i can also able to add and provide the permission for each of the department and once if we done uh, the new state i can also able to create a transition between the existing process into this new process right so and also i can able to provide the permissions for who are all can um, Perm uh, who are all can able to access this streamline uh, in the organization and who are all in involved in this process i can able to provide allocate all those informations once if i done this i can uh, make uh, this process in to my existing uh, flow right so using this i can able to provide or make modifications in my existing pdm system whenever i need so and also once if you done this you can uh, share your uh, data once if uh, complete the process means you can share your data with your collaborative departments like uh, with erp integration or else with your uh, any other manufacturing departments you can able to easily collaborate uh, your uh, entire data like bill of materials and what is the purchase component what are all the bottom out component we are going to done in our premises you can able to share all those kind of informations with the uh other other uh, resources like erp um or, or else mrp sap like that so this is not only a limited uh source for inside the organization this is a scalable uh source for uh, your entire organization so for example if you are having uh, your office premises in multiple locations you can also able to expand your pdm system in your multiple locations and you can able to access all those files in a right way to the right time by the right person anywhere so it also organize the process of uh, industry standard uh, so if you are having any of your industry standard process you can also able to implement uh, those process inside this pdm system so if you are following any process like uh, apqp or uh, maybe ppap or something uh, like that you can also able to integrate or you can able to implement all those kind of standards inside this organ system pdm system so with this actually uh, we are coming into the benefit of implementing pdm system inside the organization so as like i told your entire product data management system is secure and streamlined through these pdm implementations so whenever you need a design you can reuse and uh, you can able to provide your output in a fastest way so without delaying or without uh, wasting our time on uh, searching the data we can able to instantly get access to the right data whenever we need so the next thing is uh, how solidworks composer will be really helpful for you to uh, make your technical documentation so the technical documentation is nothing but along with our product we are giving some uh, manuals it is related to how to handle those products with care right and also if want if any uh, frequent replacement will comes means how to replace those components so like this kind of things instead of uh, doing it manually every time in the customer place we are just creating a technical documentation and send it to the customers to tell them to make their own right so that entire process can be able to create by using these composers so you can able to uh, uh, do a 2d and 3d uh, technical documentations content quickly and easily through this composer 
So what is the purpose of Composer? Why I need the SOLIDWORKS Composer? Uh, the answer for this question is every product along with the product we are creating uh, assembly instructions, product manuals, training materials and uh, some uh, marketing contents, right? We are creating so and also we are spending a lot of time to create all those kind of things and once if the product is done the prototype is done then only we can able to create all these kind of things so instead of doing that by parallelly when you are making the design you can able to instantly create the technical documentation for your entire product so let me quickly take you through one of uh, the example so in the display you can able to see here one of the fork lift so which contains around more than uh, um, 20 25000 components all right so you can instantly make your entire uh, product clearly and you can able to see it in a in depth uh, view so whenever you need to see your entire model in a detail so this system will be really helpful for you to do that so if you are making any uh, changes in your product you can able to create a different views for your uh, different criteria so for example i need a detail view for this uh, seat cover means i'll just uh, hit that component and I can able to view all the resources what is inside uh, this forklift and I can also able to make visible to the separate component whenever I need so not only this uh, it also having one of the unique advantage which is a uh, digger so this will be really helpful for you to make uh, your entire product uh, into a detail view so for example i need to find out uh, some of the internal components inside this seat so uh, here actually i'm having a various sources to do these technical documentations to make it clear for the customer so what is the interior area how it looks i can also able to create all these kind of things like an onion skin mode or x-ray mode to find a clear cut uh, idea about this product right so you can also able to uh, create all these kind of technical documentations in your handy without uh, you you need you don't need to be expertized to work in this software so easily you can able to create uh, these kind of things and prepare uh, views for your technical documentations so and also once if you done this you can also able to uh, view it in a technical documentation way uh, like uh, the celebrity mode and uh, some of uh, some any other mode you can also able to do all those kind of things in your handy so for example uh, i need a high resolution image uh, related to this uh, view to put it into my uh, product manual means you can also able to create a high resolution image without compromising the quality so once if i done this uh, i'll show you the output okay yeah like this you can able to create a high clarity image uh, to know about your product and manuals in your handy so and also it is not only limited to these you can also able to uh, create animations of how to uh, assemble this how to disassemble this and uh, how easily i can able to replace a specific component so like this you can also able to create a animation for this entire uh, product Yes. So for example, once if you've done this, you can also able to view uh, your entire uh, assembly into a different uh, sources like if I need to any uh, if I need to make any modification of any separate color or I need to uh, make any uh, modification in a separate part, you can also able to do all these kind of things in a handy. So if you want to see anything in a ghost selection, so it looks like uh, it will hide and shows you the internal components of the entire assembly so like that if you want to uh, see any of your specific component in your into a different mode or different appearance you can also able to create all these kind of things in your handy so let me quickly uh, take you through some of the output i already done for this So it is not only limited uh, to the 
images or high clarity images as like i said you can also able to create a technical documentations like how to assemble this how to disassemble this and how can i able to provide the service for uh, this specific uh, sub assembly so in the display you can able to see here uh, this is one of the service manual for uh, this forklift how to dismantle the tire so the step by step procedure you can able to uh, give using the composer and you can uh, publish it into a technical documentation through any html format or word document or as well as uh, web page just so for a marketing content this will be really helpful for uh, you to make your entire product understanding process in a clear cut way so and also uh, you can uh, able to create a uh, technical documentations in the word formats and also the pdf formats right so anyway obviously we are going to um, provide our product manuals in the way of uh, booklets or something else right so for that we can also able to create a uh, documentations with all the detail views of our uh, entire product right so whenever you need a update in this specific assembly that also will gets automatically updated so once if you done any modification or any changes in this specific uh, sub assembly you can also able to get the instant update inside your word document without uh, doing it manually so that are all will be uh, take care by the software so as like uh, this output you can able to get at the end of the documentations yeah so and also it is not only limited to that you can able to publish it into a pdf format uh, so for uh, easy sharing so with this actually you can ab uh, able to get a benefit of uh, decrease your cost and time to market uh, because you are doing all these kind of uh, things during your design stage itself so without compromising uh, your time after making the prototype for these kind of uh, documentations you can uh, make it clear during when you are designing and also it will be really helpful for uh, uh, sharing your products with your customers or suppliers they can able to get the clear cut understanding about the product it is a better communication to share our uh, product or our uh, service or uh, other process to the customers it will give you more uh, eff efficiency when you are delivering your product along with your customers so as like in the display you can able to see here you can provide a um, entire assembly documentations with all the bill of materials and it will reduce uh, the communication barriers between your uh, design to uh, manufacturing team or your company to the supplier or customers so we are at the end of the seminar uh, so if you have any doubts you can uh, contact us through our uh, web mail ids and your contact uh, details you can able to visible uh, you see in the display so feel free to contact us uh, whenever you had a doubt or you you need to clarify anything related to the content what we shown in this presentation So thanks for attending uh, this presentation